Carrie Vance here in Miami at the Fountain Blue, One Music Ave and Radio Row with Mal P. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great, but probably not as good as you. An EDMA for Dance Song of the Year and House Song of the Year? Great. When you created Drugs from Amsterdam, did you ever think the song was going to change your life? Not at all. Like, I was just making a song that I felt was really fun. It was, like, really fun to make, and I didn't think anything of it, so... But that's probably the way you create those kind of songs, right? You have fun and like you don't think about anything. Like it doesn't have to be a hit. You don't expect it to be a hit. And like those are the kind of songs that really pop off somehow. And where did the idea for this song come? I'm almost afraid to ask. Oh, it's a really boring story actually. But I came up with the idea in, in a supermarket while doing groceries. So, and then just like the, like the hook, like the, off my face and where I am because I got my drugs from Amsterdam like the lyric was in my head and then also when I was recording it immediately I heard like a melody after the the like the lyric which I was like that 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 and that's like how it started I just ran to the studio and tried to make a song the first time you heard it like did did you hear it on the radio did you hear it in a club like weird when when you weren't playing it um I'm pretty sure it was all Instagram like there was a lot of stuff happening on Instagram where I was just all the like big DJs that I follow that I sent the song to I just like look at all the like videos they post of like shows and they're they're playing like new songs out of the least songs and I just kept seeing my song pop up like more and more like different DJs and they then like other DJs started to DM me like hey what's the Amsterdam song we need the Amsterdam song so that's probably how that sort of turned into a snowball so the song's Drugs from Amsterdam. How did your parents feel about you putting out a song like that? Well, my mom was immediately, immediately like, when she saw it on my Instagram, I'm like, what's with the drug song? Like, what, what about the drugs? Do you do drugs? And they're like, it's just a song. It's a concept. It's like, it's about Amsterdam. There's a lot of drug use in Amsterdam, as you might know. You know, that's sort of like the gimmicky thing about it. And then, uh, yeah, she just always worries about a lot of stuff. So, but she's a mom, so... That's what moms do. Right. Now you have a new song out that's on Insomniac. Tell us a little bit about that. It's called Give Me That Bounce. And it was actually a song that I made before Drugs from Amsterdam. Like the idea was there. But then I hated it. Like I didn't know how to finish it. And I was really like stuck. And then after the success of Drugs from Amsterdam, I suddenly like understood what the, what Give Me That Bounce was supposed to be like. And like I immediately finished it. And then, um, yeah, I felt like it was a, a really good follow-up, like, sound-wise. And what else are you working on? I did an official remix for Calvin Harris just now, and, um, like, I just finished it, and he's saying that he loves it. So that's really cool because I really look up to Calvin Harris, like, for years. Um, I'm working on a song with Kevin DeVries, like, for Afterlife. Okay. Um, there's a lot of solo songs coming. There's so much music that I made, like, and we still have to plan everything. So it's a bit of like chaotic and we have to find like the right, uh, you know, order for those songs. But um, yeah, a lot of exciting stuff. Well, it's definitely a great time for you. We're here in Miami. It's the one week of the year in the U.S. where dance music just reigns supreme. Everybody talks about dance music. A year ago, probably most people didn't really know who Mal P was, right? So the 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 mediocre rise is, is insane. What's a piece of advice you would give to somebody trying to make it in the music business? Um, well, I feel like when I started out, like 10 years ago, I was just trying to recreate what other DJs were doing. Like I looked up to a lot of like big DJs and I just wanted to have the exact same career path and like make songs that sounded like that because I knew that was successful. But um, like, it's really scary to do something that hasn't been done before. But once you start to find like your own like groove or like your own sort of sauce, then that's going to stand out so much more than like anything else. Now we're going to do something as I wrap up interviews called Carrie's Quickies, where we're going to give your fans and probably a lot of people a chance to get to know Mal P a little bit more. Right. Let's right? So hot or cold? Uh, cold. Fast or slow? What are we talking about? Cars. What's the fastest you've driven a car? Not that fast. I don't have a fast car. It's like 150 or something. Like, oh, come on. Oh, there you go. Mashed potato, baked potato, or French fries? French fries. Pool or ocean? 
Hard or soft? Hard or soft? Hard? What are we talking about? Last and fine. What was that? Yeah. Before you go to sleep at night, you're reading a book, you're watching TV? Uh, uh, not. Neither of them. Like, I'll probably like listen to music or something. Yeah. Recreational or medicinal? Recreation. That was you saying. It's with a song like Drugs from Amsterdam. Sweet, sour, or salty? That's three options? Yes. Salty. Something breaks in your house. You're fixing it or hiring somebody? I'm hiring somebody. What's the last song Mal P sang in the shower? I don't sing in the shower. Mal P, thank you so much. You're spending some time with us.